have a very special kitchen for you today. If you like country, but you also want to be contemporary, this might be the perfect mix for you. This kitchen is so special because it feels like it was handmade. In fact, it was. It has all the charm of a country kitchen. It has the rough hewn wood, and yet it feels modern. But let's start with the floor because I think the floor is one of the best features in this kitchen, in fact, this whole house. It's based on a 17th century flagstone floor. This is a composite, which is imported from Europe. It is a mixture of concrete and marble dust. It's only a quarter of an inch thick, so it can be laid on top of an existing floor and it can be heated. And it's the color scheme. It's this gorgeous mottly gray and taupe and tan. And then the cabinetry, which is white rift oak. The lines are very clean. Kind of reminds you a bit of a shaker kitchen, but even more modern than that. Mid-tone brown wood, which feels so new now with polished Caesar stone counters, not very deep. We're always worried about super deep counters, but you really don't need it. And then the hardware, which is oiled bronze. It looks hand forged. So it has that rough feeling. And the number of divisions is kept to a minimum. And the way they accomplish that is by having these doors that open and then inside are the drawers. So you don't have it as many divisions on the outside. So it's a very clean profile. And then in the middle of the kitchen, this farm table, isn't this stupendous? It's actually a bench that was made of reclaimed wood and it was fabricated so that it feels like an old workbench, but it's exactly the height you want to eat at. The chairs, new and very hip and modern, are a wonderful combination with the old table. They're teak. This kitchen has plenty of storage. And I like the way the cabinets aren't too deep, which makes it easy to display glasses and, and canned goods. The kitchen is actually L-shaped. It opens onto a sitting area with lots of bookcases for yet more books, a TV, a banquette. It's been upholstered in crushed blue velvet, but it's built in bench style. So how do you decide what kind of appliances to put into a kitchen renovation like this? Your first instinct might be to do something traditional because you think, well, I'm doing a farm kitchen, but that would be wrong because you need the edginess of super contemporary stainless steel appliances. And a Mikkel sink, which is undermounted, and a, a classic modern gooseneck faucet. And what plays on that are the light fixtures. The pendant light fixtures are brilliant. They're probably from the 50s. They're mercury glass, they're vintage. They pick up on the sheen of the appliances. They're like jewelry in the middle of this kitchen. This house originally was built as an arts and crafts house and when you're renovating an arts and crafts house you have to be careful about what style you choose to do it in. And I think using Belgian country with a mix of contemporary was brilliant because it really works with the architecture and it picks up on the design of the windows which are classic arts and crafts. The feet on the cabinets which makes them look like furniture is a perfect marriage with the design of the windows. I love what Bonnie's done here. She's used her farm table as a display table and she's kept her flatware right out here. Who needs to put it back in a drawer? Gorgeous flatware, imported European. It looks like horn, but it's actually wood. Bowls with inlaid horn. Spools of like humble twine. And these napkin rings, these are so cool. And look, she's using squares of rough muslin as napkins. If you love this look and you want to be inspired to do it yourself, there are a series of books, some by Flamand, which feature this Belgian farmhouse look, which is rough-hewn, handmade, meets contemporary design. It's a great marriage.